Good day, guys. Welcome back. So this is finally it. The um, Visions of Mana review. So um, yeah, I've been dreading to put this up for some unknown reason. Because there is a bit I want to talk about, and I'm not usually the best at like. How do I explain it? I like to get to the point really quickly. I don't like to just chit chat. If you know what I mean. I like to say what I want to say. I mean, I could just say the game's good, but that's not really going to bring dust to sorts. I mean, because that's an understatement. Um. Guys, I've been playing it for a while. It did take me a lot longer to do. I've been doing it on stream and Let's Plays as well. Um, and I enjoyed the whole the whole game, guys. The only, there are a few things about it I don't like. There's a lot of things I do like about it. One, I think it's really good. Um, there are things, like little things, like, um, for example, when you're doing like things like main quests, side quests, or anything quest-related, that kind of tells you where to go, which kind of makes it a little bit um, not exciting, not fun. Um, not so much for the quest stuff. The quests are fine. You tell me where to go. That's okay. I'm not too fast about that. But for side quest, um, it might tell you to look for some monsters, which is fine. That one's a good one because it, it tells you what area it is, but it doesn't tell you where it is. So that's fine. For certain ones where you're finding a certain thing in an area, yeah, that can be a bit annoying. But saying that, I look on the other side, guys. It could also be very helpful because if you had to look through the whole map, it could take you a very long time to do it. Um, that's Probably why I like it. If it was a bit more, a bit of two, a bit of two worlds. Instead of having the whole map, just make the whole area, the search area, much bigger. That's basically what would have done that more justice. Make the area you got to search bigger. That's it. That would have been perfect fixes. Um, now once we got to beat our bosses and shit, yeah, okay, I, I don't care about them. One, seven ones are fine. They can stay like that. That makes more sense to me. As I said, quest ones are fine too. For most part. Um, guys, if you don't like cat screens, don't play this game, I recommend, because this game's loaded with them. Also, it has one major issue. Um, I don't know if you know this, guys, but one major issue with the game. Every time I try to, like, travel, like, use the, um, the one that goes in the water and the one in Flame Me, which flies, there's a chance the game will crash. Now, I don't know if this is an Xbox Series X what um issue or if it's a one on all console or consoles or systems i should say um but yeah for me that was a real pain in the ass so every time i had to i'm gonna have to fly or do anything like that i had to save just in case luckily for us guys the auto save does a very good job i mean it's actually a good idea this game has auto save because that is a bug that can sometimes cause a lot of problems um i think it's only one instance where i've had to do like half an hour of a video of a video because it crashed other than that, it's really good auto save, so I'm pretty happy on that. Um, I mean, we're talking about the characters now. All characters are kind of unique. Like Fowl's a normal human, if you probably tell. Um, so was um his um girlfriend. I forgot her name. Give me. I just got she basically the Elm of Fire. Um, then you get other characters like um Marina, which is basically a um half. Oh, she's a human slash dragon type of thing a dragon folk i believe and then you got morty which is basically a cat um then you got an other one i've got a name for anna Brianna, whatever her name was um she's a she was the queen of the um of Elisilla, i think it was called um forgive me guys i'm terrible names so not so much names just pronouncing them in general um but yeah that was the capital um then you got I think one more. Oh, Julie. And he's an interesting one. He's got a bit of a personality on him. Um, but he is a um a Spratling. So when we're talking about Spratlings, they're basically creatures of the plant. Well, that's what Spratlings are. Um no, is that all of them? Um or... Yeah, I think that was all of them. If I miss one, I know I'm gonna hear it. So um yeah, I would sure but um they're all pretty good guys, all got you there. Own uniques. I've noticed a small bug though when I'm playing with Farina, um, Morty, and and Fel. If you give um Farina a lot some healing items, you know, like the um kill oh, it's called kill. I can't remember what's called kill in um kill light or whatever it's called, and you give her a five in those abilities, um, she will not run out of magic. I don't know why, but magic doesn't, she won't run out. It just keeps restocking every five seconds. So I'll give you a heads up there, guys. So if you want to beat the bosses, use her as a um, healing person, um, and then use the other two to just attack the enemy. 
You do it like that, it might take a while, but you'll be able to beat the enemy without much difficulty. Even underpowered, you should be alright. I just want to give you that bit of information right now before we continue, because there's a lot to talk about, guys. There's a lot to talk about. So, even though, no, guys, it's st we start in our little town, and we basically explore the world, collecting elms as we go. So, before I continue, um, I'll explain what elms are. So, basically... On short, they're sacrifices. So they're going to sacrifice their um, soul to the mana tree, which is basically a big tree in the middle of the game, which is basically where all mana resides and gets um, disappeared. So, yeah, when you pass on, guys, your your um, mana gets goes back to the tree, and then the tree puts it off in an internal pool, and then it will come back out as some other life form. I'm not sure if you go back to this human or you go to another another creature, but I'm pretty sure you go back to a human. I think it makes more sense to do it that way. I mean, I think that's one way of keeping overpopulation at bay because you can't really increase the population if you're doing it like that. Unless more people you have, the less mana each person has, and that makes more sense. Oh yeah, um, unfortunately, guys, as you go through the game, you'll first get Karina. Um, she's not she's a bit mean at the beginning. Um, be prepared, she's really rough. But she's not a bad person. Um, Morty is actually he's kind of unique because he's what almost the last of his kind. Because what happened to his village? Because his village kind of had an accident, which I will not talk about. Um, and the other one, the other two, the other one, like I said, she's a queen, so she's a queen, but she has not told her people that she's an elm. So you gotta do a few quests to sort that out, so she can give the um the kingdom to her little brother. Without any interference, there are people who try to interfere, you know, usurp the throne, throne and all that, that kind of stuff. And then you've got to go, we've got to go to the, um, this, well, where we're going to go is actually right next to the mana tree. And that's where we get Julie. And she is basically what we they know. So, oh, a spoutling is going around watering other plants because that's his friends. His friends are sleeping. So when they sleep, they get all these leaves on them. So they look like trees. But at the end of the day, guys, he ends up becoming the elm, and yeah, there's a lot. Of, that part of the game is pretty straightforward. Um, if they explore the game, guys, they there is a lot of spoilers, by the way. So yeah, um, as they go, they run into this weird rock. Also, guys, I've forgotten a part of the story, which is very important. While in the um capital and doing that, you run into some you know, someone named Orin is around. And he's trying to change the order of things, but unfortunately, uh, he kind of uses you, and he um ends up um I don't know if he's still unliving her, but causing her life force to be put into a core stone, which is basically uh Fowler's ability, he was able to break up certain enemies into like core stones and use their core stones for other things, like potion, you know, abilities type of stuff, but. And yeah, so the Alma Fire is actually gone at this point afterwards. Um, it's unfortunate, but the story will continue. Anyway, once you get past the um, tree area, you run to that rock with a sword, and then things go to shit. So basically, you will um, we'll go, what was called? Aaron, we tried to, um, he uses the sort of the, um, Penis, Penis, that's right. Penis Life Force, or Pearl Stone onto the sword, which unfortunately brings back the Alma Delphos, um, and he's one of the main enemies. And after that, it's basically all downhill, guys. Basically, he unleashes something called the uh, Berevent, Berevent, Berevent. I can't pronounce it. Sorry, but yeah, these these eight of them, and they're really powerful. Um, well, they're supposed to be powerful. When I was playing it; it wasn't that bad, but they're basically powerful um creatures that are trying to destroy the world, pretty much. Um, unfortunately, they're not the real enemies, they're just basically the distraction. But yeah, end of the day, guys, you end up beating them, moving on, talking to, you get to the end, um, you end up fighting, um, Delapos a few times. You end up beating him outside the mana tree. So, yeah, that game's a good, happy game. It's a very long game because there's a lot of side quests. Um, so you, this, even though I made it sound so easy within like seven minutes, it is long ass because... Um, the side quests, is, there's some serious side quests you've got to do. For example, one side quest, there's these places called ruins. Um, it's obviously not that complicated. 
Um, most places have them, but the ruins, you go in there. When I went in there when I first started playing it, I was level two, like three maybe. And I ran in there and said, I thought to myself, I can beat these guys. I run up to their level and they're level 51. I will not stand a chance, so I had to leave. So there, like, one thing to go to come back to do a bit later in the game. Um, not too, it's a bit near the end, pretty much, of course, yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, most enemies and most, um, swap quests are doable pretty much early on. Or as you acquire them, so. But they are, can be very, they can be long and tedious. The main story wouldn't be that long, um. Because while I'm talking about this, I am playing the new game mode, um, game, new game plus on the, my stream. So if you're interested in that, go to Sharp. If I six plays, I'm still doing that. I'll be still in that fire for a few more days. Um, there is a few differences with that and the normal one. Because you unlock those features as when you beat the game. Which you, you gotta get. Um, there's actually two bosses. Delvos is one of them. He's the main boss, but there's also another boss you gotta beat after you beat Delvos the first time. And that's basically a, basically a dragon that feeds on negative emotions. And that whole storyline is a bit short. It's um, this guy's name Pissar, he's kind of a um, jerk, a real piece of shit. Um, but, yeah, the whole, that whole little side quest, it's not that long. It's about an hour, maybe an hour, 15 minutes. But I did it on the stream, it took me about 54 minutes, so it didn't take that long to do. Um, but yeah, you get new game plus, and you get that new build, that new unlock area. New game plus is interesting. What it does is it allows you to basically do a new game. So you want to restart the new game, but without losing anything. So what will happen is you, you click on it, and it will ask you which save file you want to inherit from. And then you say, you select one for the stream I did, I had level 84. So I inherited that one. So what happens now, you basically restart the game. But this time, your, your level is, um, well, whatever level you were at the time. So my level was 84. So when I start the game again, I'm level 84. So I'm severely overpowered. I mean, every enemy I run into now is like level 2 or 3. I mean, I'm not going to get hurt by them. Almost every single enemy I run into at the moment, I've killed them in one hit. Except for one enemy that was level 6, but he was one of the harder enemies. So, yeah, it's a good game, guys. I love it. I don't think the sounds of it's particularly great. I mean, there's only one music, one soundtrack in the game I really love. And that was when you had to go into one of the um, temples. I can't remember where it was, but it was in the snowy area. But it's got this kind of cool music and it makes it sound really good, especially when you do it the first time because you're running in there and it has like you can hear, hear um Delphos's um thoughts and what what's going on in his head. And it kind of makes it more like a lot more serious. It's kind of beautiful. I love, I love that. That's the only area of the whole game, guys, I like. That's it. But when it comes to music, I mean, not the game itself. Or the other music's fine, it's not exciting or very you know, eventful, but um, the story, I like the story, guys. I don't think the story is like super impressive, but it's not super bad or anything. It's relatively decent for a good story. I mean, you kind of work away what's going on, how it around um, Alms became, and what's going to happen afterwards, and all that kind of stuff, regardless of mana and things like that. But yeah, other than that, um, the combat is really interesting because you've got different words. It's not like Secret Mana, guys. Thank God it's not like that. The story of Secret Mana I had no problem with, but still, how do you level up? You don't have this issue in this game, guys. So, certain, with every character, you can pick which um, elemental you want to be out of, I guess. So, for example, with um, Fowl, I use Salamando, which is the Fire Emerald. I also use another one, I use two per character, so they leveled up maximum for them ones. So, he's like, I use a Fire for him and a Light for his other one. For example, Karina, I think I've got her in um, the wind and a darkness. I forgot what he's saying, shade, I believe. And I think the um, wind one is called Salford. Like I said, guys, I'm not bad with English, so. Not that I'm bad with English, it's just a speech, speech issue, so I'm not always the best at it. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, it's. But yeah, I think I'm proven, actually, to be honest. Cause I, was really bad a few weeks ago. I could hardly bring up any of these names now. And suddenly they get a bit more familiar with it. But I hate reading. I don't mind now when it's if it's game dialogue and that kind of stuff. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, but other than that, 
Yeah, I should probably max more, just a long game. A bit tedious at times, especially with side quests. Um but other than that, it's a really good game guys. There's areas you can level up, so don't worry about that. And the leveling system's a bit weird because it's not like some not other MMOs like I know, like World of Warcraft, Lord, Lord of the Rings Online and many others. You don't get experience by doing quests. You get items and things like that from doing quests, but you don't get experience. The only way to get experience, guys, is to beat up enemies. So yeah, that's also slows you down a little bit too. When you're in a new game mode, um, new game plus, you don't have that issue because you're already severely overpowered. You can just go straight through the box. You don't even need to fight them. Just go straight through, collect everything, move on. So for example, my project at the moment, guys, when I'm doing it, I'm up to the um long reach, which is where Karina we first took away with Karina. Once I'm done there, I'm gonna try to get through the uh, palace. Not palace, um what the name of the town uh, it's basically where um, Morty is at the moment. Um, we get him, and then I can come back to the first areas, do everything properly, and then I can just do things as I get to them instead of having to wait till I get something special for it. But that's one thing that's going to make it a little bit easier. Side quests, yeah, a bit annoying. I still got to do them, but sort of. I sort of have to do them. I don't need to because I got everything from them in the last playthrough, so technically I don't need to do it, but I'm going to in a way. Um, I'll be doing all that kind of stuff. I'll be trying to, trying to do 100%, but I, it's a good chance I won't because there's certain things in the game that's just too much for me. And I don't want to spend hours of doing it. So if I get to a situation where that's like, I'll probably just say, okay, we're going to stop there um, and we'll do a different game next video. Um, but if I end up doing it later in the game, which I'll do it off camera or on, on my recording or something, I'll upload it then like that. That's how I'll probably do things. If what things I find really complicated. But yeah, I enjoy this game, guys. It's a really good game. If I'm going to give this a game, I'll give it a seven. seven maybe it's a seven and a half. One of the few games I actually really enjoy. This kind of game is why Square Enix is one of the best in the industry, I reckon. Also, after doing this, guys, I found out they've started releasing some um, other games for the Xbox, finally. I mean, I knew they were going to do it sooner or later, but I guess it's better, it's better out now than what it was. So yeah, I've got them games to start playing too, guys. I've got... Um, Test drive, drive a crown, do for you know, solo crown. So, yeah, I enjoyed this game a lot, guys. It's one of those games I will definitely want to keep playing on extremes. Once I beat the um new game mode, I'll probably move on from there and get back to some games that I've not beaten. Because what happens, guys, is when a new game comes out and I enjoy it, I'll start streaming it pretty much straight away. So, that's how things are going to work. Um, and then that, guys, like I said, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. I think that's very generous. Um, like I said, the only thing that really puts it off is probably the bug, the um, game crashing every time I try and uh, get a vehicle. And maybe a bit excessive of the um, side quest, but the big thing was is there's little areas, there's lots of little battle areas for each element, for like one for wind, one for fire, darkness, light, and all that. They can be a little bit unfair and a little bit stupid. Because there's one, for example, there's a fire one, where so obviously the fire is working against water. So you can use the water element on them, it doesn't do anything. Has no effect on it, it just says um moon. Or only does one or two damage. That's it. That kind of stuff I think is buggy. It shouldn't be it should be doing damage. Just to make it a little bit easier. Um but yeah, as I said guys, that's the only issue I have with it. Um and because of that, there's one of them I can't do, which is the darkest one. I just can't do it. I'm just not you're just not quick enough. You got strong enemies in there and it's very hard to move around, you know, do that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm finished here. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a long video, guys. Yeah.